Hello, today I want to explore the theme of space management in the window display by speaking of rhythm and balance. In my previous video I told you about the importance of space management and how to define the focal point as the main point on which to draw attention. Today I want to explore and go deeper on this topic. Uh, first of all, you need to know what is meant by rhythm and balance of display window. Let's start with the rhythm. Exposure is a rhythmic composition created by alternating full and empty spaces where the full is occupied by products and the empty can be empty space or props. The rhythm can be linear, repetitive, ruddy and tidy but although this doesn't mean it has to be completely equal or asymmetrical in its repetition. The rhythm guides the viewer eyes easily into the focal point of your window that can be centered like in this example or off-center depending on the impact you want to create. In each case will be necessary to have good basis and refer to the balance. I show you some example of rhythm in real windows. In this window um, the rhythm of the three identical mannequins is broken by the mannequin on the right that has the same pose but is positioned differently than the others. I know you have seen this window many times in my videos but it is a window which is suitable for explaining several basic concepts of display. Another example is this display window in which the rhythm is quite visible, marked by the big mask on the wall and the four mannequins. Quite often the key to reading the rhythm works even in the opposite direction. We will see this concept more clearly in a moment. So what is meant by balance now? Balance provides a feeling of stability to the shop window. We are used to this type of balance, two identical shapes, two identical things, with the same weight on the two sides of the scale. But here we do not speak of physics, we are speaking of aesthetical balance, that means not to put exactly the same thing on the scale, but to keep it balanced as well. We can define two main types of balancing, um, the symmetric and asymmetric one and then from these two you can evolve into infinite varieties depends on your creativity of course let's see a couple of symmetrical example on the real windows so I want to show you two windows in which the symmetry is used um, differently so in this first one uh, by dividing the window in two halves we can see how have been used the same type of props. Uh, so the focal point this time is centered, is a bit low on chocolate candies and the rest of the props is balanced in perfectly specular way. The same product both ways. In the second window, uh, let's say this window is a whole entire window but it can be also considered as three different because of uh, the structure. So this time we consider it as one and then again dividing in two halves. In the middle there is a composition with the table, um, with shoes, bags and a photographic panel on the background. On the sides there are two symmetrical compositions but not exactly specular. Uh, we have the same elements, um, the, the elements are equal, um, let's say equal balanced. Uh, there is a photographic panel and a mannequin at side, but poses are different, prints are different, dresses are different, so this setup helps to create an aesthetic symmetrical balance but not identical like the one before. Now let's move to uh, the asymmetric balancing. So when we think of asymmetric, we think about something different on each side of a scale, potentially unbalanced, like this picture. But when it comes to aesthetic balancing, we must consider the empty space and props 
as elements and use it to take advant an advantage sorry from them in order to highlight the real product. So here we see two very clear examples. In this window we can see a big empty space which is occupying the largest area of the setup and our eyes falls right there. Because it's empty, this automatically pushes us to look um, at the bags just above this empty area. Then the bag, by using the mannequin arms, is showing us the mannequin, the outfit on it. Uh, in this window, as I told you before, you can see how the rhythm it can be also read in the opposite way. So first of all the mannequin, then the arm, the bags, and then the empty space. So uh, this is a clear example, really easy and really clean. So another example can be this window of shoes. Uh, here the mannequin is a bit different. What I mean is that the mannequin with the newspaper is occupying the biggest area, but uh, we are not attracted by that because uh, there is nothing interesting in it. It's dark, dark neutral tones, except for the shoes. These guide us to the main display with the shoe shine box and then through a gap leads our eyes to watch the rest of the display here. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching my video. Till the next time, bye bye. So if you like my video, remember to subscribe to my channel and watch more videos like my suggestion for improving the windows and the basic principles of window display. You can find me also on my blog here. Thank you, bye bye.